Hi, I know it's Sunday and I don't know where to put out videos on Sunday, but I've been getting a lot of people asking me about the videos that are marked private on my channel. Uh, mostly those are the HTML5 Canvas tutorials. I guess uh, when I created the playlist that might have shown up on some people's subscription lists, I guess. I didn't realize it would do that. Those videos I'm still working on and uh, the series is being uploaded. The first video uh, will be released, I think, August 16th. I just looked at it and I forgot already. Um, no, I'm sorry. That's a different video. Those are the QT Mobile videos, which you might also see a playlist for. Those are August 16th. HTML5 Canvas tutorials will start on September 6th. I know that's a little ways off, um, but I've got to plan these things ahead of time or they're not going to get done. Also, uh, I was planning on doing a video, this is kind of spur of the moment doing this video, but talking about what is coming up in the future. Uh, as you know, I've gone to somewhat of a schedule. Uh, Mondays are uh, more shell scripts and operating system oriented as far as Linux goes. Wednesdays are usually videos like this where it's me talking to the camera. Fridays are programming, as I said, it's going to be a different language just depending on what I'm working on. And right now, HTML5 Canvas, I've been hitting hard a lot, learning, and that's pretty much going to be Friday videos for the next year, going all the way from, and just on HTML5 Canvas, starting off with basic 2D stuff, going to advanced 2D stuff, and eventually 3D stuff. It's going to be real exciting. It's going to take us a while to get there. Once again, those videos will start becoming public on September 6th, and then every Friday there will be a new video after that. Um, once again... I have a thing, if you've watched some of my series, they kind of just end suddenly. That's because I get working and then I get busy with something else. So I'm trying to pump out these videos as fast as I can and create them. But I can't just dump them all online right now because then I, I'll dump them all and not make any new videos for a long time. So I've got to schedule them. I purposely didn't make the playlist uh, private. Uh, so that's why you're seeing that, because there's no way, I think, for me to schedule that to become public, and I don't want to forget to make it public. So if you're seeing videos in playlists that are marked private, that's just because they are scheduled to be released, and they will be released. So again, uh, I'm going to keep going with the schedule of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for now, but I also don't want those of you who aren't interested in HTML5 Canvas, which I don't know how you couldn't be, it's so exciting, um... I, I also really have other videos I want to do, so I might, if I get these videos made and scheduled to go out, and then I have some free time after that, I might pick up another day um, and start really hitting more web application stuff, working with jQuery Mobile, which I said already on uh, August 16th. I have a short three-part uh, series on some very simple uh, jQuery Mobile stuff. I'm making phone applications now that uh, I have had the series going of packaging stuff for both desktop and mobile stuff. We're going to get more into the actual application building. So I might start doing those sporadically. Um, don't really know how that's going to work because I'm working very hard on those Canvas tutorials. Also, Blender is at version uh, 2.67, I think, is the most current. At least that's what I'm running on my machine here. So 2.67. 7 should be releasing soon, and I'm thinking as soon as we hit 2.7, I might start doing a very thorough Blender series on the Blender interface and doing simple tasks, but actually go fine tooth combing over uh, the interface and going through each little part on the screen and talking about it, so it'll probably be more thorough on not necessarily designing stuff at first, but just the interface itself and how to do basic stuff. Um, so I might start doing a series on that. But it all comes down to me getting ahead in these Canvas tutorials. If I get far enough ahead on these, I can start working on other stuff. But I don't want to start working on other stuff till I have that complete. Otherwise, I'll never come back to it. And I'm loving the HTML5 Canvas. I found a website with some good tutorials that I'm going through, simplifying them a little bit and turning them into my own tutorials. I'll talk about that in the videos on the other website. I think it's uh, HTML5 Canvas's... 
canvastutorials.com. Anyway, I'm going through all that, learning, uh, just having so much fun with both 2D and 3D stuff. And there's uh, JavaScripts out there to make some really cool 3D stuff really simply. Uh, I'll even get into maybe exporting uh, models with textures to a format that you can import into your HTML5 canvas and have on your website. Uh, so you can have you know fun little, you can make games or um, other fun both 2D and 3D stuff that will run on, on modern browsers even on if your uh, cell phone and tablet are up to date they'll work on that so we can actually start getting into 3D and 2D um, graphics that will run on any device or desktop uh, without having to package it since it's running in the browser or you could package it if you've been watching my series on packaging uh, stuff for different operating systems. Um, so that is the future. Once again, it's the, the HTML5 Canvas tutorials will be starting September 6th, and you'll see one every week, every Friday. Um, and I'm thinking it's probably going to take us at least halfway to, through 2014. That's why if you look at the playlist, it says HTML5 Canvas tutorials 2013-2014. So it's, it's going to be going on for a while. We're going to learn a lot. I'm learning a lot and I'm sharing it with you guys. You just got to be patient with me. Um, but if you see a private video in my playlist, it's because I've created, uploaded, but it's not scheduled. It is scheduled, but it hasn't been published yet publicly. And that's just to keep me organized. Otherwise, things get chaotic and not finished. And you'll get one of those series like my Pi Game Tutorials that just kind of ended. And for those of you who keep asking about Pi game tutorials, uh, and I also get a lot of questions about uh, QT and GTK, um, and I know I mentioned this recently, I have no plans on doing any Pi game tutorials anytime soon because if I'm going to do anything game related, um, I'm going to be using the HTML5 canvas. That way it's easily ported to all devices and, and uh, desktops and tablets and phones and, and whatever, as long as it's a modern operating system and you should be able to run it on there. Um, and as far as the QT and GTK, I am, I, I am mainly going to be using HTML5 uh, with JavaScript and CSS for pretty much all my GUIs from now on until I find something better. Um, it's just more easily once again moved to different platforms. Uh, yes, QT5 uh, will run supposedly on iPhone and Android, uh, so you got that there, and I'm not saying it's bad. I think both GTK and QT are great. I just find that it's easier to distribute stuff in HTML format, especially with HTML5. Um, I'm also, you know, spent the last year learning JavaScript because I just kind of played with it before that, but since I had gotten an Android phone rather than my Nokia N900 and I wanted to easily create stuff and it doesn't isn't X compatible that's why I started learning JavaScript and HTML and I'm loving it it's so easy to customize both on the developer end and the end user you can easily write plugins for your browser to modify stuff so if you don't like the way I or some other developer writes something you can write a simple little plugin in JavaScript uh, for Chrome anyway they're written in JavaScript to change that page however you want. And that's also something that I might do in the future, uh, simple tutorials on uh, making Chrome extensions, because I have done that a few times, it's come in handy. So a lot of stuff I want to teach you, just have to get these HTML5 Canvas tutorials at least somewhat down the line done and schedule them all. So that is why you're seeing those private videos. I do plan on doing more Python tutorials at some point, just not necessarily with QT, uh, GTK, or Pygame. Uh, I, I know a lot of you really, really like the Pi Games tutorials, but trust me, once you start seeing, uh, once we get to the uh, past the basics and into the more advanced uh, HTML5 canvas, you'll see that it is just as easy, if not easier, than Pi Game. And even though Pi Game has been ported to Android, uh, HTML5 is just a lot easier to distribute, in my opinion. I know there's uh, going to be ways. So again, this video was kind of spur of the moment. I've been meaning to do a video like this explaining what's going on in the future, but I've gotten a lot of messages asking about making, giving people permission to the private videos, and there's no, it's, no one else is seeing them. They're there for me. I'm the only one that can see them now, but they are all scheduled for Fridays to come. So look forward to that. It's, I'm, I'm just so excited about this coming year. 
um, with the HTML5 canvas, getting more into jQuery with jQuery mobile, making mobile apps, especially once again now that I've shown you how to package them uh, for Android or iPhone or even Windows phones and Blackberries, even though I haven't tested them on that, I showed you with PhoneGap how to quickly and easily use that open source tool to make these packages, as well as desktops. Um, so, uh, I, I, I appreciate people's enthusiasms wanting to get to those videos, and uh, just be patient, we will get there. Also, the series that I have coming up uh, starting August 16th, which is just, like I said, a three-parter on jQuery Mobile. Uh, it's also uh, something that people have requested in real-world scenario software. I actually have, uh, will show you how to create a simple little app that will work on a phone, tablet, desktop, you know, any anything, once again, with a modern uh, operating system and or modern browser. Um, and I have took a task that needs to be completed at my job at work and made this software uh, to simplify that. Uh, so it will be a real world, um, real world, real world uh, case, even though we don't actually use this at my work, I wish we did the software that I'll show you. So look forward to that. I just, I hope you guys are excited as I am. As far as, again, Monday videos, I know a lot of, especially my or earlier viewers, are into shell scripts, bash. Going to be continuing that. Mondays will always be uh, Linux-oriented uh, uh, command line stuff or operating system stuff. Um, I do think I might get into a little bit of uh, at least a small series on um, BusyBox on Android. If you're unfamiliar with BusyBox, it is a shell that's a very lightweight shell with a lot of tools available for it that are on uh, a lot of really lightweight devices. In fact, my Samsung TV in the other room, if you read through the, the licenses on it, it's running Linux and it does have BusyBox. Lots of times ARM devices have BusyBox and that's true with Android. If you have an Android tablet um, or phone and you go, you get yourself a shell application like I use ConnectBot, uh, you'll see that the default shell there is um, or I don't know if it's default, but it has BusyBox on it. Although usually Android comes with a lightweight version of BusyBox without all the bells and whistles. If I do do a series on that, I'll show you how to install a full version of BusyBox, uh, allowing you to do a lot more advanced stuff, and we'll get into port scanning. Uh, the full version has a simplified version of Netcat in it, and a bunch of other tools. So I'll probably do a short series at some point on Mondays on installing the fuller version of BusyBox rather than the trimmed down one that comes on Android. And, um, and of course, uh, using that. Uh, and so that's another thing that's coming up. So I have a lot in store for you guys, a lot coming up. Just be patient, but be excited. Uh, I know I am. And that is all I had to say. Uh, I think I got everything out, even though this is kind of like, again, spur of the moment, because I just had those messages coming in. So... Keep on watching. Please visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. You can search through my videos and playlists there. And, of course, uh, those two news playlists uh, will show private videos when you click on them, but they will eventually become public. So thank you again for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.